Now you are sporting an NBA chain mm. around your neck. Yeah. Yes, sir. Do you remember how you received this? Can you take the audience to that moment? Okay, boom. Signed the NBA. Like, when we did the deal, we was in LA for like a month, like, for real. Like, we was in, a, in there like a month recording. And then, um, and then we hit the road because he was doing shows and stuff like that. So we was going from state to state and we had wound up going to Philly and we went to Philly, shout out Sean, and he blessed us, YB blessed us with, shout out Montana too, with the watches, and the watches came first. I didn't even know I was gonna get an NBA chain. So once we got off the little tour run that we was on, I went back home, and I was home for like a couple of months, working, cooking up, and then they was like, oh, YB moved to Utah. So I'm like, Utah, like, I gotta go see, bro. Like, I ain't never been to Utah, uh-uh. Meanwhile, though, while I'm at home working, I see that my peers got their chain already so i'm like oh shit like mom must be coming and so when i when i talked to fee and he like oh it's time for you to go to utah i already knew what time it was on like as soon as i landed i pulled up on big bro and uh he was like man wait right here we was in the garage the video still up on instagram to or youtube today we was in the garage chilling he was like man wait right here and then he came out the crib with my chain on man it was yeah, it was it was a moment, bro. It was a moment. So technically speaking, you received the chain and the watch after signing. Yeah, 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 for sure. 1,000%. Hell yeah. And how long would you say you were signed before receiving the watch? Is there an approximate time there? Like uh, a week after, a man, month after? Man, it wasn't really that long, man. Like, you know, being around the guy, everybody iced up. So like... Bro just had to get me right. Like I had to, we had to fit in. Cause it was around the same time, like me, Roger, and Youngin all signed our deal at the same time. So yeah, it was like, we locked in, we recorded the music, really proved to bro that we was about this, you know? And then um, then that's when he blessed us with the Roly and then soon after the chain. So I can't really put a, you know, a time stamp on it, but it happened like that. And this is the Roly here that you're referencing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, the two-tone John, the, um, the chocolate brown John. And what does this pendant mean to you at this point? To me, it means loyalty, it means family. Like, you know, I wear this with pride. Like, some of my some of my peers was telling me, like, asking me, like, man, like, you, you sure you want to go to so-and-so wearing this chain? Like, you sure you want to, like, bro, like, the way I carry myself, I'm such a humble dude. Like, I'm such a, a God-fearing dude. Like, if anything happened to me, it just happened to me. But at the end of the day, this shit represent family. This shit represent loyalty. This shit, it's, it's blood behind this, you know what I'm saying? So much love that go into this. So much positivity, you know? It's not just negative. It's so much positivity that going towards it. And I'm forever grateful uh, for, you know, Never Broke Again, Big 38, Motown, all of that. Now, is this your first necklace ever? Oh yeah. You know, I used to rock the high bridge chain, but I never had one of my own. So this like, this me right here, like I take care of this like my baby. I really need to go get her cleaned up. Uh, yeah. And since you've received this charm, do people treat you different? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I don't be trying to put people on blast, bro, but people definitely treat me different. Like, just definitely treat me different. Think I'm rich, bro. I'm not rich. Like I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm good for sure, but I'm not rich. What about other recording artists in particular? Have they treated you different, more specifically? Uh, yeah, but I accept it. Like, I know how the game go, you know what I'm saying? Like, nobody gonna, like, keep fucking with somebody. You don't see no type of progression, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so it all started, like, as far as me being in the industry, you know, I, I worked with A at a young age. Me and A Boogie, we locked in. Uh, shout out High Bridge, um, and, and all, shout out New York and stuff. But yeah, we was locked in for a while. And uh, so once I departed from them, you know, I knew that big bro wanted to see like my progression. He wanted to see me do my own thing. So now I know when he see me with my chain, like it's a it's a it's a respect. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm and I'm proud of that. So yeah. But he just for him example. But it's a lot of artists that now see me with the chain. It's like yo, let's work and this and that stuff. Like. And what about on the other side of the spectrum, females, potential significant others? Yeah. Do they treat you different? since receiving this pendant? Um, I wouldn't say the ones that I was trying to holler at before treat me different, 
but I definitely get a lot of new, you know, women in, in my inbox on a daily or whatever like that, which I'm not mad at. And I'm not mad at that at all. You, I know how the game go. <laughs> For real. Now, being respectful here, mm -hmm. when you received this item, mm -hmm. was it instant clout, so to speak? Um, I wouldn't say that, man. I'm, I'm not even at the pinnacle of my career yet. I, I'm, I'm still climbing, but it was definitely a lot of love shown. I think that the Never Broke Again family, like the way that they embraced me, um, it's special. Like, I'm telling you, like, I would have never seen this, none of this coming, like NBA, like the way that his fans embraced me. And a lot of his fans are like a lot of my fans now. So it's like, I carry them on my shoulders and stuff like that. So. And with that being said, do you feel any sense of pressure? Nah, not really. Maybe at first. Maybe at first, yeah. Like we did, uh, like when we do songs like Gang Baby and stuff like that, I feel like I got to like get on a level and kind of like step out of my own comfort zone. But now it's like, it's no pressure. Like, you know, the support system that I have over there, you know, shout out Montana, uh, shout out YB. Like YB tell me all the time, like, bro, like, be yourself, like, do you. Like, I, I rock with you because of what you do. You know what I'm saying? So I don't change that for nothing. Like, I don't feel no pressure. And wrapping up a few questions here just about this necklace. Do you know how much it's worth? Nah, I don't, man. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even sit up here and make no type of estimate, but a lot, like, it's different from a lot of other pendants because we got diamonds. This VVS, like, diamonds, flawless, it's, like, all around the size and stuff like that. I wouldn't even have, I don't know. We have to ask Sean, man. I have no idea. Do you know the jeweler behind it, perhaps? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Sean from Philly, he do a lot of rappers' jewelry uh, from PNB Rock, Lil Uzi, um, and then us, of course. Um, real cool dude, man. Like anytime I have a problem with the jewelry, we send it up there, get it fixed, get it clean, and he send it right back. So shout out Sean, man, for sure. And speaking of YouTube, which you mentioned previously, uh, care to share your channel name or YouTube.com slash whatever yeah, yeah. that may be there. So my YouTube, um, it's, it's, it's the same handle. We try to keep the same handle everywhere just so, you know, we don't confuse the audience, but it's R-J-A-E-R-A-P. Yeah, that's my YouTube. And you shed some light on this a little bit, but want to ask you formally here, what's Grave Digger Mountain man, really that, like? That's top home, man. That's top, that's top, yeah, stomping grounds. Um, but it's cool though, man. Every time I go out there, I feel like I'm getting away. Like, you know, it's it's so peaceful and quiet out there, bro, for real. Like Utah is real quiet. Like it's nothing like the city. It's not like New Orleans. You know, New Orleans is just loud. Wherever you go, it's loud. Utah is real quiet. They people are real nice. You know, they Mormons out there. So like everywhere you go, people are just soft talking and quiet, but they real nice. So it's you get a you gain a peace of mind out there, and, and more importantly, when I go out there, you know I'm with big bro, so we we be turning up. Whether it's studio, you know we out we outside or whatever he got going on in his little bubble, it be lit.